Welcome back. The city of Colorado Springs is preparing to unveil a plan to eliminate and prevent toxic algae at Prospect Lake. The algae has shut down the lake for much of the last few summers when it's supposed to be busy. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live at Memorial Park tonight to explain how the city plans to do that in the future. Scott. Well, guys, that toxic blue green algae, which occasionally shows up here in the summertime at Prospect Lake, can be unhealthy to humans and even deadly to wildlife and pets, which is why many people who were here earlier today are happy that, that action is finally being taken to hopefully eliminate the problem. I didn't know there was algae in that water because for years I've been bringing my dogs here and they never had that problem. Janet Cressman says that her dog, Ralphie, lost the fur on her back after exposure to blue-green algae in Prospect Lake. She's glad that the city will consider two options for installing aeration devices to clean the water, but she remains skeptical. So I won't even let her get near the water now. Not anymore? No. Not even under normal conditions? Uh, no, I don't think I would trust it anymore. A member of the Parks and Rec Board is more optimistic. He says that adding more oxygen to the stagnant lake water, along with enzyme treatments as needed, should stop, if not significantly reduce, algae blooms that we've seen kill large numbers of fish in the past. But many people still wonder why algae contamination seems to be a growing issue here. Maybe climate change, might, maybe all the geese going to the bathroom here, all the other <laughs> birds. I mean, it happens. You got a, a lake with, I guess, thousands of birds here all the time, plus the fish. And the city plans to hold a public meeting about those two options for aeration systems on Monday. And if you plan to attend, you can find out all the information about the meeting on our web story right now at krdo.com. We're live at Prospect Lake in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. A popular spot in the summer when it's open. Scott, thanks. The Pikes Peak United Way held its bi-monthly mobile food pantry this morning. Hundreds from around El Paso County were able to get help at Sierra High School in the Springs thanks to a program that's absolutely Colorado. Leaders from United Way say they saw double the number of people they usually do. A lot of patrons today saying they're in need of extra help because of recent cuts to Colorado's food assistance program. Families were able to drive away with bags full of non-perishables, fruits, and dairy products. And so we're seeing an uptick in people needing food and um, additional resources, and we don't want any kids going hungry in our community. United Way was able to serve 250 families this morning. The next food distribution will be Thursday, March 